Hello guys, welcome back to Critics News where we keep you updated with the latest info on us. Take the go, let's go straight to the reason why we are here today. In case you never follow us on our social media handles, what are you waiting for? Please um, follow us on all our social media handles so you'll be getting our updates back to back. Let's go straight, no time to waste time. As it happened now, they said that a gunman strike again. Born Anambaras Ogbaru, local government secretariat in second attack within months. Hmm. They say that um, in Anambara state now, the way when on non government take the waka for the area, say no be waiting, they go right home about. Say they know the rest at all. Say Anambara has been the epic center of attacks now. While the governor, we they call governor Chukuma Soludo, is practicing bo -bo 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 up and down. They say that on non government use the opportunity take enter them. When I go watch the video, in a jiffy so don't go nowhere all you have to do is just to engage this video share it and also um make sure other people get to see what we are doing an Ambra state police command has confirmed that a large group of unknown gunmen attacked and burnt down the secretariat of Ogbaru local government area in the state according to report they say the assailants numbering over is it over 30 <laughs> stormed the secretariat who attacked the local government secretariat in the early hours of friday set several buildings ablaze including a town hall <laughs> different from Bla bala blue designated for traditional rulers and various administrative facilities and so did they tell us to say even we are those uh, um, our elders go feed the Sidon, they hang out, they do their meetings. Say they did not spare those places, that those places were the first target and the places they first set ablaze. The spokesperson for the state police command, SP Tochuku Ikenga, confirmed the incident to Sahara reporters on Friday, saying, Attack on Ogbaru local government area in the early hours of today, being 30th of August 2024. The security operatives gallantly resisted the gunmen. Some local government area properties were destroyed. Some buildings were affected and no life was lost, as joint security operation is still ongoing in the area. Though no casualties have been reported so far, witnesses told the punch that the attackers fired indiscriminately into the air, causing widespread panic among residents. One witness said, around 5 a.m., about 30 gunmen emerged from the bushes, chanting as they stormed the local government secretariat and fired shots into the air. They moved from their hideout to the nearby Atani Magistrate Court, and began setting buildings within the council premises on fire, including the main secretariat and the traditional rulers' uh, structures. They were, in pro they were in the process of igniting additional buildings when security forces arrived and fired back, causing the attackers to retreat into the bushes. According to the witness, just yesterday, a security guard named CY died from bullet wounds sustained during a gun battle in the Ami Yi community on August 27, 2024. On August 5th, two young men were killed by unknown gunmen, and five days ago, a retired policeman was beaten to death by the same group of unknown gunmen. Anambara is in chaos. And I am not seeing any light at the end of the tunnel so far. Okay. On June 15th, 2024, be taking record, so I hope you got it. Tara reporters reported that the unknown men suspected to be arsonists attacked the same Ogbaru local government area headquarters and set four security vehicles ablaze. The arsonists arrived at the local government headquarters on motorcycles before they launched their attacks. This is happening in Anambra State. While the governor, Governor Chuku Masoludo, is busy dancing bo -bo 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 up and down. 
Governor Soludo, I think you've got work to do. Your state is on fire. Fmoon, I find waiting they cause this problem and solve this solution once and for all. And I know they agree. How can we have peace? Adem, what can I say? Hey, <laughs> not be me now. One go decide what thing go happen because I'm not the governor, the, the, the first, the number one citizen of the state. Let's take a look at uh, Governor Soludo here. <laughs> So who ran and who caught the person? Anyways, when I don't see that one, I wait with this inside the uh, number of state nine be that one. Um, when I don't see that one, take waka. So today being the 30th of um, August 2024, uh, they say that this very icon on Yeka Oweno uh, said that uh, the, her soul, her body has been laid to rest in Lagos State uh, today. So um, when I know say she married a uh, Yoruba man, so I don't know how they think take this, uh, but uh, the thing they we say they don't lay her to rest. So may her soul rest in peace. Amen. So we will go straight to another one. Also here, we still have another news here. They said that this is our sister when they here. So seven years on, Nigerian army ignores court order to compensate and apologize to assaulted actress Ebere Chuku, which is uh, Ijele on her way. Look at they say how many years? Seven years on, they brutalized this lady. So after everything, they found out that they, the Nigerian army was wrong. And had touched an innocent person. To apologize to her now, or even pay compensation now, war, they no agree. Now this leg now Nigeria won't take better. It can never be better. Go and see how Uibu people are apologizing to people they have offended. Yesterday I gave you information concerning how NDLUEA officers raided the wrong house. Okay, after raiding the wrong house. When they realized that the house was the wrong house, they still refused to release the man. But when they finally released the man, they refused to release his phones and laptops and told him to bring 500,000 naira to regain his freedom. This is Nigeria. They raided an innocent person. Instead of leaving the person and apologizing, they still, you know, demanded for 500,000 naira. Initially, it was 2 million naira before the... the uh, CD, AB, security people where they the area come go talk. They say, Oh, oh yeah, go and bring 500,000 naira. 500,000 naira for what? The corruption in Nigeria. May we just they play, may we just they play ethnicity, may we just they play how we want to take by ourselves under the, under the carpet while our politicians are there criminalizing everything. After fighting yourselves, how you want to poison this one, poison that one, may those criminals they loot for top. Then you go no say before you go wake up to face them. They don't change the law. Where we say they, they is and they press your neck. Never know anything. Say in Nigeria a day. Now this our sister. Now they say that um, the uh, a Nigerian a Nigerian actress and filmmaker Ebere Chuku on her way, popularly known as Ijele, has narrated how the Nigerian army failed to respect an order of a federal high court in Port Harcourt directing that. She should be compensated after being brutalized by a, seven, a, a Nigerian soldier seven years ago. Speaking to Sarah reporters, the actress narrated how she was brutalized. She recalled that she was returning from Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and was in a Toyota Sienna minivan in January 2017 when some soldiers stopped and sat the vehicle. According to her, the incident happened on Port Harcourt or the Char Express Road. She said, I was behind the driver and I was listening to a song on my earpiece, so my attention was not there. The soldier was interacting with the driver. I do not know what really transpired, but they were both arguing. Before I knew it, the soldier started hitting the vehicle with a stick. 
and I was by the window directly at the back. At a point, he asked everyone to come out. He was hitting people. The incident occurred as I just came back into the country. It was not like I was used to the system in Nigeria. I tried to ask with the soldier. Uh, the soldier was hitting the vehicle. That was how he fled up, saying I wanted to be the Messiah. They took it up on her. He started calling me names such as Ashawo Gia. Hearing as she called me Ashawo names, I got angry. He threw away the small piece of stick that was in his hand and got a rod instead and started shouting. He started hitting my leg with the rod. He would hit me, I would want to dodge, but uh, my left leg kept receiving this impact at a point. I saw that he had broken my phone. He knocked the phone out of my hand, and that was when I knew that I was over. I tried to fight back. I fell on the ground after he hit me with the rod. The issue got people's attention on the other side, people trying to pull over. And that was what I can remember, she said. So they beat this girl, so they, she passed out. So after everything, now uh, the court can't judge the matter. They said the Nigerian army should pay certain amount to her and apologize to this lady now, who now they see here. Seven years ago till now, they never give her the money. They never give the apology letter. They never write anything to this woman. This is Nigeria. I don't even know. Do do we do you people think that there is headway inside this country? <laughs> you think there is hope in Nigeria? <laughs> okay, because they changed the national anthem now. Oh, you you think there is hope, my brother, my sister. <laughs> Lord, you know, there is no hope inside this country has failed. Our government has failed us. Our security agencies have failed us. No wonder all these unknown men, the worker, they know the easy eye, they see them. And no wonder people are applauding them and saying, yes, whatever will happen to this police, so I may people who make it happen there, make it buy them, make it me no better for them. Because of waiting, then they do. You can imagine somebody who just came back to the country. Look at what the Nigerian army used in welcoming her. Is that the way forward in a country? There's no hope in Nigeria. Bear that in mind. The earlier we realize this, the earlier everybody realize this, that there is no hope in Nigeria, the better for us. How many times will they tell you that Nigeria is not for you? <laughs> Charlie boy, uh, wait till they call her. America, you know. <laughs> I beg, um, before I proceed, you get one video when one Yoruba lady don't call you, can't give uh, Tinubu. Uh, make you follow me, use this very app with the call tap tap send. And uh, if you use it, you are going to get promo. You are going to get five pounds extra on top of your money. Five euro for those of you who for Europe on top of your money. Ten dollars for Americans and uh, Canadians where they send money go Nigeria. And 25 AED for people where they go with the same money from Dubai enter Nigeria. So download it from App Store or Google Play Store. It's very easy to use. All right. They are going to top you for free. Now, if this woman don't cut you and give Tinubu, oh yeah, I'm gonna send this video, give Tinubu. Uh, one of the daughters is calling for his attention. Tinubu, God go punish you, punish your family. <laughs> Turn that fire, you fire your useless family, fire your children, may your children die for plane crash. What did they have for yourself? Now, season of onion, pepper, tomato, okra. See what the person still they buy for season now, 15 era. Imagine when you go reach January, February, March. Now they say poor person no go fi afford to buy food for market. What did they have? I know now. Say me could not talk so on a guarant. Turn that go fire you, Tini Buna. Me talking. Man, I go arrest everybody. Finish. What did they have? When I want even sit down for house now. Say on a need. Every day now is supposed to be protest. How do you understand? What did they have now, Tini Bu? When I go say me could not hold on our governors. Now governor now increase fuel price. See what the person still they buy fifteen naira for season of onion. Imagine when he reach uh, uh, January, February, March. Hmm. What did they happen now, Tinibu? Now crime say you you leave country. Now, Why they say your own administration now they, they bring frustration? Oh, I they play, they play, <laughs> they play. Never see anything in this country. 
That was what a lady was saying yesterday. Oh, do you know how we uh, we we sympathize with Igbo people? We all voted for P2B, and now uh, some Igbo people are fighting um, Yoruba people and Bini people. We not vote. so because of uh, you get problem with certain people. You not vote competence. You want to vote idiocy. Oh yeah, now let's <laughs> let's vote him now. Let's vote let's vote criminals into power. May the good go sure shake you won't do me. If you don't do me, lie, lie. I bet when I may talk the share button for this video, maybe we will proceed. Aina Ganubi, Janaka.